So currently the deal guys, we were about to book a grab and then we had a tuk-tuk come and ask us how much we were going to pay. So like, ah, oh, look, grab is going to cost 120. And he's like, ah, oh, do your better. For 120, I'll take you to all these places. Sounds a bit sus, but he seems friendly. We've had a good conversation. Um, it's early in the morning, so maybe he just needs some work. Who knows? We're about to see. But this is the first stop, and it's pretty decent. And Danji just pointed out their steps up the side. <laughs> I didn't think that was an option, and I'm not sure I'm up for that in this heat.
So, one second. Let that guy pass. <laughs> we weren't sure about the taxi driver and we are just chatting to this lovely guy um, who I think he takes care of the grounds and the temple and stuff here at the Lucky Temple. And he said it's a government promotion at the moment. But if they take them around a few areas uh, into a factory, they get subsidised. So, looks like we actually might have scored something decent. Yeah. Because, yeah, a bunch of tourist spots for 120 baht. I won't say no to that. Like, we were planning just to go out to one spot today. Exactly, and it was going to cost at least that. After a bit of an uncomfortable experience at a jewellery factory outlet, the tuk-tuk driver took us to the ferry to buy some tickets to go over to Wat Arun. So we probably should have just walked to the ferry to begin with. Thank you. 
I don't know why, but I expected it would have taken us longer to walk around this. The immense heat and the massive number of people kind of took away from the experience, but it was incredible to still see what a run.
after a very unique day, it was time to get in a taxi and get back to our accommodation. Well, what just happened there? Bit of an interesting story. So, we went to go get ourselves a coffee at 7-Eleven and there was a tuk-tuk out the front and he was like, where are you going? I was like, oh, we're going to Water Run. How much does it cost? You know, just seeing it might be a bit quicker to grab the tuk-tuk. He's like, you pay what you want. You pay what you want. How much you want to pay? He's like, okay, um, well, grab's going to cost me 120 baht from here. And he's like, cool, that's perfect. Uh, he's like, I'll take you other places as well. Only 120 baht, you don't have to pay any more. Um, so he showed us this little map of some other temples and things that we had heard about, we thought were quite interesting. And basically he was gonna take us around to them all for 120 baht. So he did, um, he did, nothing wrong with that. It was a government subsidized program. Essentially, they get paid a little bit by the government for going to each of these temples and then at the end to a factory um, and when they say factory it's not what we think of a factory it's a jewelry shop yeah. that's all I can say a jewelry shop um, anyhow they kind of pressure you and uh, push you around this whole place making you look at all the stones and you want to buy it put this on <laughs> and we can resize it and all sorts so we were just like look we're not interested we're not trying to buy jewelry we're trying to get to a temple here um, so we got out of that, that was fine, but it was a little bit uncomfortable. Got back on the tuk-tuk and he took us to the ferry to get on the ferry to go over to Wa'arun, which that was fine because that was one of the options we were thinking of doing is grabbing the ferry. Um, but we just went on a wild goose chase for not much. Um, but we did go and see some other nice temples, but yeah, so just be a little aware that if someone is on a tuk-tuk and offering you a deal that sounds too good to be true, yeah, there's probably a catch of some kind. Could be worth it though, but might not be necessarily worth it. Um, that one wasn't bad for 120 baht to get a good drive around the town and actually, the town, the city, <laughs> and actually see it um, around, you know, the old city area, and then to get to a couple of extra temples. Um, we went to the Lucky Temple, which was nice, and some guy said we were really lucky. Um, yeah, had a great conversation with him, a guy that I think we pretty much said in another video, but I think he takes care of the grounds there. So yeah, it was worth it, uh, and we still got our ferry boat trip in the end. Yep. But that's what happened, and it's probably taken up a little bit more time than we expected. Yeah. Probably took up an extra two, two and a half hours as a result. Yeah. Mm, and then, and as a result, when we were out at Waterun, we were out in the peak of the day and also the peak of traffic, um, peak people. Hence why, yeah, you can see this is different colorations and everything. Time for a shower and a smoke. Yeah. In the previous video, we went and saw what Waterun looked like at night. Here are some photos. Thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoyed, please like the video and be sure to subscribe to our channel.